Hey guys, it's Christy with Motoray Motivation. You know the drill by now, it's just me, my mini music and motivational segments that I play here on the station. And you're probably thinking, wow, did she not just say mini, but she's got a Jeep behind her that sort of doesn't fit? Well, that's because for the last two years, my husband and I both have become a two a uh, mini of uh, two Jeep family. That's right, we both owned Jeeps. I had a 2018 Jeep Rubicon Recon, and my husband has this uh, in mod process Jeep Willis. And I loved the fact that both of us owned a Jeep. I loved the fact that we had that freedom and flexibility to take it out on the beach, to go up on the trails, to take the camper out, and just really be kind of out in nature and really enjoying things, the things that I couldn't do when I owned a Mini. But ultimately, it became, for me at least, a love-hate relationship because my Jeep was a daily driver. And after owning it from 2021 to 23, I just had become a little bit frustrated and annoyed every time that I went up to the gas pump. And so at the end of 2022, I took all of my receipts for fuel, I tallied them up, and then I averaged them out and I was spending anywhere from around $450 to $600 a month in fuel. And that really depended on how much I was driving it in that month, where we were going, because mainly because mine was newer and more luxurious, we took mine most of the time but there is a price to play to pay to be able to get out and play so to speak and because uh we liked the fact that we modded all of our minis they were never the same they never stayed the same the jeep is much like that which is why i think a lot of mini owners transition to them because it's th that same quirky feel that you have and making it morph into your personality and that's what i had done with my rubicon which is not the one that you see in the background um, I lifted it, I had bigger tires on it, I had a heavy front and rear bumper, I had a roof rack on it, I had a swing arm uh, for the spare tire on the back, I had the winch on it, <laughs> and so on. And you know what that means? Weight, more weight, a lot more weight, and so on. And that only further decreases your fuel consumption for uh, for the month. It just all adds up. So I think uh, on the screen, the last time that I checked it, I was getting like 11 miles a gallon. You know what the cost of fuel with it going up and down, it's still very, very expensive. And at the end of the day, I just didn't want to go into 2021 having that trailing behind me. Didn't mean, you know, so ultimately I made the adult decision and the most logical one um, was to let my Jeep go because we still had one that we could go out and have fun in. And so I decided to let mine uh, go on to another owner that was going to enjoy it just as much as I had, which put me back to trying to decide what do I want to drive? I've been in the mini community for 17 years and ironically, between the classics that we've owned and the different models, we've owned 17 minis, which is the length of the time we've been in the community, crazy. But I wasn't sure that I wanted to go back to mini. I just kind of was ready to break away and try something else and not get kind of typecast for being known as the chick with all the modded out minis. So I drove a lot of vehicles. What I did know was that I wanted a small SUV crossover, something that had a little bit of space and uh, flexibility for traveling and carrying things, but I didn't want a very big SUV. Again, fuel. Um, so I looked at the Porsche Macan GTS in a used model, could not get into a new one, but the used um, ones I could get into at my price point. I looked at a BMW X1 and X3. I looked at Audi and Land Rover, Alfa Romeo and um, Jaguar, all of those, as well as some American made ones. And while I was out looking, I also looked at the hybrids 
and I looked at the electric vehicles. It would not, uh, I wouldn't have done myself justice if I didn't, you know, at least look at those and drive them and try to decide what I wanted to do. At the end of all of this, which was exhausting, I finally realized what I was still, oh my gosh, we've got the popo coming by, so I've got a loud noise. So we'll wait. So ultimately what I knew that I wanted was a vehicle that was very much an extension of my personality, which is quirky and fun, that had some fun colors with it, and that was easy to, sorry, I got my hand in a cast. It was easy to modify and trick out that I could bring it to life in my personality. It ultimately came down to actually two or three. It was the Alfa Romeo, the Jaguar, and the Porsche Macan, and the BMW, actually four. And ultimately, at the last minute, I narrowed it down to BMW. The only thing with the BMW was it still was more refined, it was more polished, it was more of that professional luxury, and that's really not me. I'm more quirky and fun and odd. And so I loved it, but I wasn't in love with it. So the last ditch effort before the purchase, I called my motoring advisor, Michael, over at Flow Mini in Raleigh, North Carolina, and said, hey, thinking about buying a new car, what you got um, in the Mini lineup? I don't know that much about them now because I've been out of the community for a while. I do know that I would, would be interested in a John Cooper Works any model, let me see what you got. Fast forward, he calls me, got this awesome JCW that rolled off the lot. Think you would be interested, how about come for a drive? Well, folks, that did it. Right now, I am the proud owner of a 2023 John Cooper Works mini countryman and a beautiful sage green, which again is outside of my comfort zone, but I absolutely think it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's kind of that chameleon color that it actually changes with the way the sunlight comes off of it. Sometimes it looks that very much a uh, greenish color. Sometimes it looks a bluish gray. Sometimes it looks like a, um, a different kind of gray. It just depends on how the light hits the metallic color, but it's very much reflective of my personality. And also the fact is I really miss the need for speed. And so this can go from zero to four seconds at 301 horsepower. And I think it's pretty awesome. I'm actually super enjoying it. And it's not burning fuel. Oh my gosh, I still actually can have a tank. Uh, my, my gas can actually go for almost three weeks. That's if I, if I drive it on green mode, but it's still better than my Jeep was. So you know what? I haven't had it for just actually just a little bit now but as soon as it came off the lot it didn't come the way it came you know I can't do vanilla I can't do ordinary I have to be a little bit off the chain and an extraordinary so you see these my wonderful husband surprised me and he worked a deal with many behind the scenes that I didn't know about and actually bought these wheels for me, which are the JCW 19 inch pro wheels. And I think they are fabulous. I've actually been wanting them since I owned my 2017 um, Clubman and I just could never justify the cost for it. So that was kind of like my Valentine's kind of every kind of thing present surprise all wrapped up into one and I've never cried I'm not a crier but let me tell you when I saw these on it when I went to pick it up I cried I think everybody thought they needed to call 911 because it was just that much of a surprise that my wonderful husband had done that for me and the Michael and all of them uh, Henry Kurt all of them were working this out behind the scenes and it kind of just re reminded me of, it felt like coming home to my mini family. And I'm so happy to be back. And I'm so happy to be back on the channel. And you know, just keep watching because you know, 
this isn't going to be the same as it is now. I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to style it. I'm going to flare it. I'm going to make it be more like me. So I hope that you will tune in because we'll see where this is going. And oh, by the way, her name is Maleficent. You know, we got to name the minis. All right, guys, take care.